So what's up everybody? I'm back. Read some shit earlier. Dealt with it. Got it out of my system. Just realized I didn't remember to open the cage for for Meatball. Sorry Meatball, let's get you on camera. Get her centered there. There we go. Hey Meatball. So I'm not going to have the chat up until I finish explaining, so if anyone jumps in, it may take me a second. Um, so I'm going to play Eight and a Half Tales here. I've been working on getting this deck ready. It's an old paper deck of mine that I've gotten ready for MTGO. Um, as always now, we've got the deck list uh, link down below. You can see the link to go get it. So everything's up here, and while I was getting ready, um, Battle Bond just came out on MTGO, so I was able to throw in one of the friend foe cards I like. Really, really loving this mechanic. So just a quick thing through the deck. So we got eight and a half tails as the commander. The way eight and a half tails works is you can pay a white and one to make a permanent you control gain protection from white until end of turn. You can pay a colorless target spell or permanent becomes white until end of turn. So I can turn any card white, and I can give all my creatures protection from white. So this kind of breaks a few mechanics, which is really fun. And we definitely need our commander in here, so we need Homeward Path to get him back. If anything goes wrong. So I'm just going to point out what it really breaks here, and then we'll just have some fun with it. We can run Circle Protection white. Yep, the Circle Protection, some of the most broken cards ever to be printed in Magic. We made them work in EDH. We also got the Rune of Protection white. The Glare of Heresy, Exile or White Permanent. Let's see, we've got one of the protection from White Swords. Excuse me. Crackdown goes in almost all of my white decks. I'm sure you guys have noticed that by now. Um, you can actually help a player out that's down on their luck with this card by making their creature white. have done that here and there. There's our new Battle Bond card. If anyone else is a fan of, uh, of Steven Universe, tell me that set logo doesn't look like a crying peridot. Like, I dare you to tell me. Well, the new M19 guys made it in. We're just playing white value with some really weird tricks. Uh, we have Pentarch Paladin. We can leave it on whatever color we pick, or we can just pick white. No matter what, this card does good stuff. And then a pretty normal mono white top end. So I'm going to have a podcast playing while we're uh, playing Magic over here. So. Uh, you guys are going to have to listen to one of my podcasts. I went ahead and put the name on the bottom of the video so everyone can see what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and turn that on before we start playing. Uh, I'm going to get my chat going. Yeah, Carador and two Arcades decks. I guess people saw my Arcades earlier. No one's watching me, I know. Pretty light hand. I don't know. I think I can make it work. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay over the podcast at that point. Funny to play against two arcades decks in my arcade deck played against two new dealers earlier.
I know this makes it so I can't play uh, my commander on turn two. I don't want to play him that soon. I want to get some other stuff out first. Sorry, I have Cheez Its. I'm snacky. Oh boy. When someone plays Hermit Druid, the game is usually over. They probably have no basic lands in their deck. Yeah, this card is one of the ones that should be on the possibly banned list. Let's see if this slows him down at least. Planning something else this turn, but that was a good top deck. How much just went into the graveyard? Just one? I'm confused. They actually have basics in there? Hello, peoples. Yeah, green gets all the broken cards, doesn't it? Or not these respectable, you know, buck dog performance cards. Yeah, green gets all the Not many people stream Commander and very few people watch. You guys are watching. We have our caves. Hmm. Can't play the career yet. This deck over here with the uh, the Carador is seriously worrying me. Oh, I'm an EDH streamer. Some of us like it. Well, if anyone can exile a graveyard, now's the time to do it. It's a scary deck over here. Yay! Happy birthday! I'm doing like a Muppet style dance there because I can't dance.
Are you attacking with your wall? You do. Oh yeah, Meatball totally counts as a streamer. I decided not to put that in mind. Yay, good on you for not building like that. Do you want me to build through Exabundo? I take requests. Sucks. What are we gonna do? Seriously, I will take requests for commanders. I'm always looking for new stuff to build. Yeah, give me a little while and I'll put one together. It might take me uh, anywhere from a day to a week. Depends on how much I get into it. Diamond Valley, Dark Blast, Crucible Worlds, and Grizzly Salvage. They're just not having luck with those. No, they can dredge now. Didn't dredge. Oh, they did trash. Dead Bridge, Shant, Vivid Meadow, and Duplicate. Discarding a bunch of swamps. Good card. So these two are playing a bunch of the cards my arcade deck didn't draw into when I played it earlier tonight. That takes a lot of fun. Talia. In an email sent this week to the nation's 93 United States attorneys, Rosenstein had asked each office to provide up to three county prosecutors who can make this important project a priority for the next several weeks. He also said, We need your help in connection with President Trump's nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to serve on the Supreme So this is unusual. This has never happened. Oh, boo, I hit the wrong button. Not coming in. Here. You play Hermit Druid, you're going to get popped on the teeth a few times. I don't care how nice you're building it. It scares people. Wow, that feels early. In six.
Boo, I can't court even. Yeah, that's fair. Well, he's just in general a pretty scary commander since he's a tier 1. No, we play my fox. Hello, foxy friend. I mentioned how much I love MTGO. The fact that everyone gets to play with these cards. Well, like Paper Magic, where only I get to play with them, and like people with stupid amounts of money who or, who have also been playing as long as I have. Oh God, your spirit tribal. Maelstrom Pulse in the graveyard. Some graveyard exile. We've got containment priest in the deck. I will say I'm not. I'm not looking to pick up a commander that I have to buy a million cards to play. I want ones I can build out of my current collection, which should have everything that's needed. But I mean, if you want to come on and play it, I would love to have you on here playing it. You make bad decks great. And I'd love to see you utilizing shit like this and this in your decks. What you could do on that kind of power level. You need to just get a Windows laptop, I'm thinking. So weird to see walls attacking. Even though I've done it. Oh, 
Oh, that makes arcades do it too. Oh my god. Homelands much? Just homelands or fallen empires? Can't remember. You would know the answer. I wonder what they're going to target. Okay, so down Carador. What the fuck? You hit me in the face and you just quit? Boo, stick it out. Games can change. Activate eight and a half tails twice. Hmm. Okay, it's home. It was good. Arcades is the only untapped creature, and Arcades is already white. Seems like an easy choice. I feel like a board wipe's coming from Carador. Move that order. We don't. We Time for living death yet. There's a whole bunch of things. Ooh. I don't see that card very often anymore. Blom? Yeah, I love that artist. Can anyone see in, uh, in Meatball's water dish that little dirt ball? Yeah, she put a fucking ball of dirt in her water dish. Spiders. Oh, how are the beetles doing anyway? I've been curious. Yep, here it comes. How bad is this gonna be? Really glad I had Thalia in my opener. Not my opener, but I could play her immediately. Okay. 
Okay. Playing things a flash now. Oh, that's awesome. If you get babies, I want a couple. Those things are adorable. Flying walls. That's not surprising. Oh shit. Here it comes. I'm gonna wait till they spend all their mana and then I'm gonna pass the commander. No attacking. No attack for you. Please don't make a couple attack. Yep. Now they're all coming my way. Not coming to me. I'm surprised. They're really terrified of Kirador. Boat within a boat, I've seen that shit. It's ridiculous. Carador dead. I'm not the only one with the foil command tower. Oh god, what is this? During my upkeep. Okay. I figured a board wipe was coming. I get to draw up the skull clan. Yeah, that's fine. And I get to draw one more card. Nice.
So oh, if you have to put some option on. I think I want to keep... Uh, yeah, they've got the lightning greaves, but that uh, means... Yeah, I can't use it anyway. I don't want to use the skull clip for anything. I don't think I do. I can't cast either card in my hand still. I'm just gonna pass. So good. I don't think I made the cut in my build, but I did consider it. Good taste. I like Colbert. I'm down to the last two. Good timing. There's all the mana. Oh, Plume Veil. Cards of Pain in the Ass. That's a thing. I did look at this card when I was building. I just didn't think it was going to work. This is like all the stuff I cut from my deck, I'm watching them play. So it's like I'm getting to test a different variant of my build. Doorkeeper, really? Okay. Yeah, they built the stack on three dollars, they're saying. That says a lot. Yeah, Buck did this the other night. Kept moving lightning roofs around to make a ton of mana. Doesn't sound half bad actually. And our case is back. Am I getting milled for a butt ton or are you milling yourself? You're milling me? Uh, and of course we've got a great okay. uh, on the day, uh, where all the and of course we have dollars for medical can only attack with one thing. Got it. Okay. Uh, so that's the story. It's a hell of a comeback from a board wipe, by the way.
ask your book. No, I needed something other than land. That's not good. I should have cast the crusade first. Answer. Of cards in my hand aren't going to do that. Land's not going to do it. That's too expensive. If I survive, maybe. Yeah, I got nothing right now. This attack is going to sting. <sighs> is it nice coming here and getting news and uh, journalistic approach and shit while you're getting an EDH game? I don't know what this guy is. Okay. Let's see if he can kill me in this turn. I can only make four angels. I can treat the angels if I untap with it. I don't think that's going to help me. Oh my god, that's great. I never considered this in there. That's fucking brilliant. Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? That, that's... Oh my god. That just makes my day. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, I got nothing. I am immediately putting him in my deck. That is going in my deck right the fuck now. I don't own him. Okay, let's fix that. So just to give you uh, a little bit more of that messaging. Uh, probably have all these tabs open. Right yeah, 
Hey, he's a penny. How much is a foil? Fourteen pennies. Let's do a fourteen penny card. I can't believe I didn't think of that. That just blew my fucking mind. What's coming out of here for that? Anyone wanting to see how you get cards online? This is how fast it goes when you buy a new card. I have a store credit with them. And there's my new card. Already in my search. There we go. And I now have a foil copy of him in my deck. That's just... I feel silly for not thinking of that. Ah. Let's go for one more game with eight and a half tails. How's that sound? What's wrong with me, Meatball? I'm forgetting shit in my old age. I'm seriously embarrassed I didn't think of that. That is so brilliant. I'm coming from a background in Doran, and Doran can't play blue. So I gotta learn these blue cards now that work with that theme. I'm gonna get the new Battle Bond cards put into all my decks. Now that I'm picking them up. How far down is it in here? For the Crying Paradox. That's not bad. 132 is about the normal cost for an EDH deck. Can I just search for a set? Why is Battle Bond way down at the bottom? There we go. Got all the dual lands. I love the flavor of this one. Oh, we got a game. Animar, Karametra, and Ur Dragon. I'm outclassed. Yeah, I'll keep this. This isn't that bad.
A $50 in paper deck is going to cost you probably $10 online, if that. Like you just saw how much that other card just cost me, 14 cent foil, penny for the card. I hate to put this on the bottom, but my hand's expensive enough as it is. Yeah, it's so nice. I only have one copy of all the things from my commander decks. And I can use them in every deck. It's nice only wanting one reliquary tower and one soul room. One command tower. And my whole collection fits in my computer. I can just carry a laptop around. I actually brought this to someone's house the other day to play some magic. Coward of Souls is another story, but I do want to show you this. Sorting by price, low to high. There you go. Four dollars for a Phyrexian Arena, one of the most in-demand cards in Commander. Minimum of twenty in paper. Oh, Alter. You're going to like this even more. How's that? Less than three bucks. So how's that? Three bucks. Sorry, less than three bucks. I'm sorry, I look at the screen name Orkin69 and I think it's like a sexy pest control agent. Am I alone? Guy's cradle. How's that? Two seventy-five. Three twenty-nine for the really nice new arts. Or you can go for a foil for about twenty. Yeah, isn't that nice? Or we can just go for uh, for dual lands. Eighty five cents for a savannah. Dollar twenty eight for foil. How's that? Thank God. I love this card.
Did they upload the first hour twice again? I feel like I've already heard this. Make sure I have Thrax on the door. I'm gonna build him. I do have him. Okay. Start on that tonight. I'm surprised Black Lotus is that much. You can get a copy for about ten dollars. Hey, new follower, Trojan Turtle, if you're watching. I know you said you won't watch during the game. But if you see this later, thanks for following. You're fun to play against, by the way. I'm enjoying your decks. I don't always have politics playing. It's just been a long day and I want to listen to the news. Texas Bubba 77. Oh, other thing online is uh, you can get Guru Lands for less than a dollar each. Like three fifty, three hundred and fifty each in paper. She's always yes when I'm on yielding. Yeah, this is the first hour again. What the hell? Let me take a look at this. Let's try for hour two. Looks like they uploaded hour one a few times. Brainstorm seems good. I feel like you're just surfing card water now. Can't blame you. I did too when I first got on there. And their support's really nice. They've done a lot of cool things for me. I have spent over a thousand dollars in a month there. I feel like having some ice cream, but I can't get up while I'm playing.
few more lands. I'm not going to attack anyone in this demo. I was thinking about it for a second there. I knew it. You can't hide it from me. Actually, just put windows on your laptop already. I've been Mac only for 20 years, and I bought a Windows laptop. If I can admit magic is worth Windows, you can too. Oh wow, that's fucking awesome. So we're going to be able to play games again soon. I'm looking forward to that. Maybe I can have someone to play Brawl with finally. No one fucking plays Brawl on MTGO. I've never been able to get a game on here. I showered like three hours ago and I still have what hair? Brawl isn't that bad, and I knew you were going to be watching during the game. I'm trying to give Brawl a chance. I've been wrong about other formats. That's the thing, we've got a ton of paper players out here, just I can't find anyone online. And I've got a great deck built. Don't mind my friend A Gender Nerd. They do a lot of uh, really fucked up decks that don't sound like they would work, but then they kick your fucking ass. It's wonderful. One of my favorite people to play Magic with. Oof. Well, at least I'm going to gain six life before I lose my champion. Thanks for the life. I don't mind that board life. Dude, that cleric tribal. That thing's terrifying. Okay, I have no impulse control. The jelly beans are coming back out. I know the owner of Jelly Belly is very anti-gay. She 
can't taste the homophobia. Well, and I sold most of my paper collection recently. I still have my uh, Tinder Shoot Dryad that you signed for me. It's in one of my three decks I kept. Agreed. It's just weird to be a gay person that actually likes that stuff. It makes me hate myself when I eat it. Awesome. I love that I signed a card of me for you. Oh, Jade Mage. I still need to get a foil one for on here. Been out of stock every time I've looked. Yeah, still out of stock on all the foil ones. That's adorable. Maddie's doing well, by the way. She's been learning quite a bit. Probably obvious, but if you see the screen name Sugar High in the chat, that's her. Ooh, fun card. I need to play my Wasatora deck on stream. Well, that's a problem. I have a sad. She's getting really good at it. I even got her to put a Cyclonic Rift in. Also, she just had her Sweet 16. Her mom bought her every single Comic Con Jace. And she like lost her mind. We have a rift. Oh, a targeted rift. Wow. Don't say that too often.
Azusa, with the good art. Don't see that a Johnny often. I like that a Johnny. Oh, that's good. I've never been more grateful for a ghostly prison. Attacking. Okay. No arguments here. Oh, there it is. Gotta see that card every EDH game. some random value cards, I guess. My hand slowed down quite a bit. I like the deck advice in chat. Keep it up, guys. This is good stuff. Double strike. Oh, this is going to be messy. The new Liliana looks awesome. I cannot wait to get her into Magisa deck. You did have an open spot in your deck. This is a really good budget card to put in any EDH deck. Just throwing it out there. That's what just killed all the tokens, for anyone who didn't know. Is she cheap? She was 20 bucks when I looked her up on Card Hoarder. A Johnny's ten bucks. I'm waiting for him to drop before I pick him up. Yeah, the new bolus is pretty baller. I like him. Yeah, 
Yeah, let me go double check. Johnny. Four nineteen. Yeah, he's uh, nine dollars. Your adversary of tyrants. Liliana. Oh, she's down to f about five bucks. Still gonna wait for her to go a little lower. That seems kind of high. She's too specialized to maintain that price. Back. So, I think that's the whole reason why about the I'm curious what I'm going to end up doing with Rex and Mandar when I do a deck tech on it. I've never played that commander. Grixis isn't my, my forte, typically. I am looking forward to playing Luxury Suites, though. I'm sure there's plenty of sack in there. It's hard to judge a deck without the full list. When we're just talking about cards that are exciting. Ooh, that's a fun card. Yeah. This is the thing. Comes in as a 10 10. That's so gonna ping off my creature soon. Wording. Okay. Got a fun little play I'll be making on my turn. I'm excited. Commander's like the only format you have to find something to do in between your turns. Because sometimes you can just be sitting way too long. Okay, I'm putting these beside the laptop where I can't see them. Maybe I'll stop wanting them if I stop seeing them. My turn finally.
Let's have some fun here. Thing is annoying. I'm gonna turn it white. Hey, look, a white permanent exile. What's making it cost two more? The fuck am I this? Oh, they're stupid thing. God damn it. Oh, that's annoying as fuck. I needed that off the damn table this turn. If I known I didn't have the mana, I would have just played the stop and then. Fuck it. Begin my combat. There we go. That should do it. Wow, you're actually gonna block. I didn't think you'd want to throw mother runes in front of this. I didn't want to kill Nissa. I'm down with Nissa. I wanted to kill that damn Frontier Siege. I thought this thing only made uh, creatures cost two more to target. No, it's player and prominence. I'm listening to this news thing and it's fucking ridiculous. Quit trying to put all these limits on on what they're doing. Just fucking admit that it's just let things go and it'll be safe and regulated. Fucking Oh no, you can do this but not this. Don't go this far, but you can do this. It's just fucking confusing. Come at me, you're getting a path to exile. I don't mind Nissa. She can stay there. I love Nissa. Nissa's my friend. There's just too much value coming out of a Johnny. Oh, right, pay your tune. It's because it's a really old card and not many of them were distributed. So there's not a lot to work with. That's from my Archangel of Thune, Biatch. Papa Jobs has stepped down from this position. Now, this is following a Ford's Ford indicated. TYT is fun. 
the only place I can get halfway decent news on progressive things. Stupid frontier siege. He needs to be gone. I tried. Poor Odric. Barely got to enjoy you. They've been covering a lot of politics in the past few years. A lot more since Trump. Got elected. Those aren't bad. I can definitely dig those. Not my cup of tea, but I can dig them. Yay, it's Rainbow Dash. Or Fluttershy, whichever you prefer. That's too funny. Never like that guy. God, I don't like that their show's time now. It just ends so suddenly. I going to say I was about to turn it off. Meatball, why are you so still tonight? You know you're on camera, right? I swear, some nights she never stops moving, and then, like, tonight she doesn't move at all. Okay, now I'm doing the thing finally. You gotta pay extra. You other guys owe me for this. Using up all my manas. Keep targeting my shit with that. Fuck you. I'm so in trouble from that loss of Torah. I know it's coming my way. And I can't target it, so I'm just gonna lose creature.
do not allow to motor vote people, how is this still America? I can get down with that. I'd motor vote the camera, but I'm pretty sure Twitch would ban my stream at that point. So just, just use your imagination. So am I getting attacked with Lossatora here? What do you mean they allow a lot of shit? Are you talking about the podcast? This is the uh, the members only show. What I mean? Yep, called it. Killing your cards because you're killing me, bitch. No, I've, I've known of a, uh, a female streamer that got banned for wearing pasties. So I'm not going to take any chances. I want to keep my stream. She's doing Overwatch, I think. And yeah, I'm not going to say racist shit because, well, everybody is racist. I'm not purposefully racist because I know better. I spent a long time trying to clear myself of racist thoughts. What's Bubba doing here? You throwing me a save? Oh, okay. Are you going to kill Wasatora? I'm down for being saved from this. Okay. Not being saved. It will be back. And with bigger numbers. I tried. All the dragons. You're fucking with the Animar player. You're gonna be in trouble from that. Keep them coming. I really wish I saw my Aria champion.
Oh yeah, Animar is a, uh, a tier one commander. You definitely need to keep your eye on Animar players. Oh god, is Sarkin dying to a Pegasus? Yep. That's an insult. I think I saw that episode of My Little Pony. The Rainbow Dash beat, a, uh, beat up a dragon. So my good friend Trojan Turtle, since you're on the stream right now, I'm going to propose something to you. I have one of the new friend or foe cards in here. I can't guarantee I'm going to draw it, but if I draw it I'll call you a friend if you want to work together on these other two. I think we might have to, because these are beefy decks right here. But yeah, I'll throw you in as a friend if you want to do some, uh, some working together here. Okay. Let's have some fun. It's the one that gives all friend players uh, plus one plus one counter on each of their creatures. And then taps down everybody else's creatures. I'm gonna play Staff up now. I need to draw into some more lands. I'm not in a happy spot right now. Let's see if not attacking will keep Orkin off my back for a turn. Because Rasa Tor is kicking my ass. Oh, White Sun Zena is so good. Pretty sure it's in this deck too. I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I might just have him treat the angels instead. Hey, have at it. I don't mind seeing those two decks go at each other. It's kind of convenient having one of the players on my stream so we can, like, plan behind their backs. This is nice. Yeah, when I saw the uh, Battle Bond stuff was up tonight, I picked up all the friend foe cards immediately because I love that mechanic. They're such great card advantage. Two-headed giant that they don't know about. So two of the heads are fighting with each other. Don't attack me with that shit. Oh, going in this up. You know, Masatora doesn't have trample, does she? Oh, she does have trample. Auto yielding to that. Have your pegasus. Oh, staff of mana is the effect that stops me yielding for. Trying to figure out what was doing that. Which just, which is such a nuisance that just wasn't down the 
As soon as I can tap my staff of Nan, I'm going to do it and then get up and go get a drink. I want to have a ginger ale before it gets too late. I take my evening meds too. My staff of men to take Texas Bubba off that perfect light show. Where to stop? There we go. I will be right back. I'm grabbing a drink. Trying something new. Blackberry ginger ale. It's really good. Did I miss anything major while it was gone? Some more Zendikar Resurgence sale. It was sort of the Animus. That looks like all I missed. Land. Can I get some land? I know I put land in the stack. No land. There's a land. Okay. Useful creature is useful. Maybe like extra gassy until I finish that soda. Tempted to take out his endocrine resurgent here. 
can't target anything over here. Yeah, this protects itself too. Stupid monastery siege. Let's do something goofy. And that is how you get commander damage through with this commander. We make things white. Card looks good with a white border. Oh yes, the other two could have blocked, but they would have died. That was the whole point. I figured they didn't want to lose either of those creatures. It's always amazing that racists hate being called racist when it's obvious that they are. We live in a strange world. This commander looks so nice and foil. Glad I paid the extra couple pennies. I haven't drawn like any of the good cards in the deck. I said nothing weird, bad draws all night. But that's what happens sometimes in magic. Well, you're a dragon. Here it is. Thank god I got rid of that fight mechanic card. It was a pain in the ass. Frontier Siege. Oh shit, does he get haste? Yep. I might be dying here if they still have a grudge against me. Oh, Anamar wouldn't have died. I misread your post from earlier. Forgot the pro white and black. Apparently they did too. See what we got. Yep, they still hate me. I don't know what I did to piss them off so much. I 
have removal, but it costs two more to play. So, three permanent into play. Hint, hint, can anyone listening to this get rid of the monastery siege? I'm just in trouble here. I hate having removal, but I've got the mana for it, but still can't play. It was worth a shot. I'm really hating that Monastery's Age this game. If I had the mana to remove the player, I would. My hands, everything is too expensive. I drew all my top in this game and like, none of the mana to support it. Pegasi. Nope. White Suns, yeah, that's right. All the kitties. Looking like a crazy cat lady. While playing against a crazy spider lady. I have way more spiders than you have token creatures right now. Like real pet spiders. Meatball is just scratching the surface here. Oh, I love that promo art. So beautiful. Way better than the original one. I don't know if you've actually been looking at my hand on stream, but I've got like an Avacyn and a Pintark Paladin sitting in my hand. And like I've been sitting here with like six mana all game. Oof. That's beefy. Here comes a counter spell. Rewind. Okay, I thought that was going to be a counter spell. Why flash that in now? Thank God for Bastion Protector, eh? Keeping my creature alive. Oh, all those tokens. Ooh, better jump. Arguments with that target. Oh, 
Oh, that's so good. Why don't I own that? Seventy-five cents. I need to have that card. My next order. Oh, awesome card. So you just got all the walkers going on over there. More Johnny. Good. They got rid of the old planeswalker rules. Goodness, that is really good. Okay, that's getting scary over there. I think it's time to start taking people out. Just leave me to last. I have no chance of winning this game. I'm like the least threat here. Oh shit, it's going down. That token army is terrifying, sir. Yikes. I like Awakening a lot. That definitely has a home in my restack. Forgot that was a card. Well, you certainly removed the player. Holy shit. No, it's very good. What the hell? Why'd you just give up? I hate when people just give up like that. Play it out. Okay, now I gotta be mean. Ah, this might not work. We'll see. I was hoping you forgot to get the Mother of Rune since there were so many cards out. I've seen it happen more than enough times. Worth a shot. Oh God, what is this? Yep. 
Can you believe this shit, shit me, Paul? I'm gonna die to my little ponies. It's fitting. I can't put them on camera now, but there's like over a hundred My Little Pony figures on the desk above me. I have literally every character up there. I'm like obsessed with that cartoon. Okay. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Oh, I hit eight. Gotta go for it. It's not going to save my ass, but I got a player. She's been sitting there since my opening hand. There, I did something. You got me. Finish me off. I've seen a lot of League of, League of Legends uh, figures. And if nothing else, you can get uh, 3D printed ones. I've had some stuff 3D printed for really obscure things here and there. If there's a big enough fandom, you can find anything. I don't think I'll get to use anything I'm looking for, but fuck okay. it. Something weird may happen here, you never know. Oh, Silesia. You have so many little critters. Oh my god, you're getting like every creature out of your deck. So if you watch this far into the video, um, I am still going to post this up. I do want to make it a thing. Um, I don't want to just post EDH games where I get like god draws and kick people's ass and do all kinds of crazy shit because this is the kind of stuff that can happen with your decks too no matter how good they are. You need to have a realistic approach. You're not going to win every single game and that's okay. Um, even the best players in the world, we only win 60 to 70 percent of our games at most. Uh, so. Yeah, this deck is a really well thought out one. This does really good whenever I play it, usually. But now you've seen two games in a row of uh, random ass janky draws. And that's that's a risk in card games. Um, so I want to make sure everyone sees this so they know that not every draw is going to be perfect. And you shouldn't get upset about it. It's just something that happens. That doesn't make it any less fun. You still get to watch and participate in really cool shit. Dear God, what's coming back? Couldn't even tell what the hell just came back. Something neat came back. Oh, this is the internal witness. Okay. Yes, exactly. This gives you the opportunity to find the weaknesses in your deck and make them better. Like this deck got stuck on land. 
So that means I need to put in more ramp and I need more card draw. Those are two normal weaknesses of white. Um, I thought I had plenty in the deck, but apparently the deck can always use more. I mean, the fact that ran into it two games in a row means that's something I need to improve. Yeah, every loss should be taken as a, uh, a chance to learn something. That way a loss is never useless. God damn. We were just going all out. At least you're giving me time to monologue like a super villain over here. Oh dear god. That's funny. Untapping all lands and they all become 2 2 creatures until end of turn. Which, because of Elish Norn, they're all 4 4 creatures until end of turn. I've seen quite a bit of what that deck can do. It's adorable. I like it quite a bit. If I add you to my buddies list, I think I did. Well, either way, you're on my buddies list now. So we will have future matches. I will get a rematch for this. Oh god, Hydra Broodmaster. This is going to be gross. So I'm going to make 15, 15, 15s. Is that how we're doing this now? Okay, that's just ridiculous. But I love it. Oh, and now we got Odric going on the stacks. So they're all going to be flying and vigilant and indestructible. What else we got over there? Got like every keyword, I think. I can't even imagine what negative my life is about to go to. And swing with all. Jesus Christ, that's nuts. Oh, come on, you're supposed to end the game. Oh my god, this just saved my ass. I'll never doubt you, ghostly prison. That's too funny. Ghostly Prison is just so good. Everybody's on the stack. And you got a maze of death now. Right, what can I do? I can play Circle Protection White. Not that it's going to do much. I can play this lovely thing. Yeah, I got so much nothing over here. Yep, to gain every ability. I get it.
Gotta do damage somehow. There we go. Yeah, they're indestructible, so it doesn't matter what you block with. I just wanted to do something since I was getting a turn. So now I got get to watch this go crazy again. usually come in pairs. That was weird. You should totally just kill me already. Quit playing with your food. Like a cat playing with a little mouse. It's so weird seeing a 6-6 six, six Avacyn in play. This card is really good in any white build. Even more than just this one. Oh, there goes my ghostly prison. Now you can knock me to ne negative 17,000 or whatever. And ability. Yep, there goes my ghostly prison. Moving to combat. That's where Odric is the socialist of Magic the Gathering. He just shares everything. I think that's why I like him so much. There we go. No sideways quick noise because they all have vigilance. Oh come on, you can hit me with all of them. I want to see how negative my life goes. funny. Oh wait, why is my ghostly prison still there? But, oh, because of Avacyn. Duh. Yeah, I totally missed it too, so don't feel bad that you missed it. Yes, I will get a land. Because lands. No bloggers. Yay, negative 46 even with the ghostly prison. So yeah, there's a... Uh, a glimpse into my, uh, where'd he go? My eight and a half tails build. Normally a very good deck. It's got some weird ass draws. And so it definitely happens, and we move on, we try to make it better. So anyways, thanks for joining, guys. And as always, I'll remind you, follow me on Twitter, at SkySpider. All my videos go up on YouTube under Jade Skywalker. You can find all my personal music on all streaming and download sites under the name The Eternal. So uh, good night for me and good night from Meatball. We'll see you guys next time.